Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and others, to Suikoden 2, the pride of the PS1. So, last episode, we were reunited with our good friend, Joey, um, after having been separated, after having jumped off a giant cliff, after having been attacked by our own army, well, the, the commander of our own army, anyway. Uh, now, the first episode we spent as a prisoner of the mercenary force here, of the opposing side, no less. And now we're going to get the hell out of here, hopefully, by sneaking out in the middle of the night when the, our captors will least suspect it. Now, i got to say, our captors haven't been too, too bad to us. They, uh, they fed us. Uh, although we did have to work for it. They've, um, kept us somewhat warm. And, uh, they seem like an alright bunch. Phew, I'm all tired out from that. Ah. The door is locked. Give me that rag and that flint. I'll just light this and... Huh? What's that smell? Ah! Okay, let's go, Fred. So, he did say the door is locked, so we can't go out the front way. Must be a way out. And I believe there is over here. Fred, give me the rope of yours. Okay, good. I'll go first. You see? All the stuff we've been collecting? It does have a use. Fred, on the night of the attack, when I think about Captain Raud and that man he was talking to, it might be dangerous in Kiaro. But I still want to go back. Your sister Nanami is waiting for you there, too. She's probably worried about you. Let's go back to Kiaro Town. Uh, it's too dangerous to go... Yeah, let's, let's go back. Yeah, that's where we grew up. We can't forget it so easily. Okay, so we have got Joey. And we are traversing on the world map, and we are heading to the town of Kiaro. Now, we're going to have to go through here to get to there. Ryube village. And what is going on? So if you recall the uh, performers from earlier, it is performance time for them. Okay, now for our next performance. Let's see. Okay, you over there. Yes, you. Okay, you're the right height, and you've got a cute face too. Come here, hurry, hurry. Hey, hey, Fred. Oh? Everybody, our main event. Um, here she is, our knife-throwing expert. Hey, that's not how I told you to say it. Um, here she is. The beautiful and famous knife thrower, Eileen. Feast your eyes on her magnificent face and form. Okay, so we do have a choice here. Please don't move. She hasn't been doing too well lately. <laughs> but don't worry too much. I've got some good medicine. So basically, we don't want to move. That, that's all there is to it. Just don't move. Here we go. Are we going to move, are we are going to move ahead to the right, or are we are going to move ahead to the left? Remember what I said, we are not going to move. Boom! Okay. Melon done, pumpkin. Once again, we are not going to move. Awesome. Oh my word. Banana. <laughs> the fruit gets smaller each time. Once again, we're not going to move. going to trust. Sweet. Oh my days. <laughs> Look at Joey. In a panic. Are we going to... No, we're not going to move again. We're going to trust. Here we go. Boom! Okay. 
Okay, they're not bad. Yeah, great job! Everyone, big applause! Hey, you help out too. Huh? M me? Oh dear. Thanks for helping us out. We're traveling performers. I'm Rena. I'm Eileen. We're sisters, and this is our big brother. Bullgun. I'm Joey. This is my friend Fred. We're on our way to Kiaro Town in Highland. Hey, so are we! We've been to all the villages around here. It's time for somewhere new. The only problem is... We might have heard what the problem was in the previous episode. I told you to... We, I told you we'd be lucky. Don't worry about the mist monster. After all, I'm here. The mist monster? To enter Highland, you have to take North Swallow Pass. But we've heard rumors that a horrible mist monster lives up there. If you guys are going to Highland too, maybe we could go together. Yeah, it's okay with me. How about you, Fred? Okay now guys, very very simple. For the love of God, do not pick anything other than hell flippin' hell yes. But in this case, of course. Thank you. Now we cross the mountain with no worries. Great, thanks a lot Fred and Joey. Bold and happy. Okay, so we have now got Eileen joining the party, we have now got Rena, and we have now got Bolgan. That is awesome. Change formation? Yes, we will change formation. We'll, we'll take a look at the formation anyway. So, this is the formation page, and on this here, the way Sukiden works is each character that you get who is able to partake in combat has a certain range in which they can combat. Um, our guy Fred here is a medium range fighter, as is Joey. Eileen is a long range one, as is Rena, and Bolgan is a short range one. You can see that by the little M, M, L, uh, S, and L here. And what that means is the medium characters, medium range characters, can attack enemies on the front and back rows. Long range can attack any enemies from anywhere. Um, and short range characters can only attack characters on the short, uh, on, on the, uh, on the front row. However, the short range, or rather, the short range character has to be on the front row in order to attack, otherwise their attack just won't reach. So in this case, what we're gonna do is replace Eile with Bolgan. Here we go. Now everyone will be able to attack. Lovely. So having done that, let's take a look at everyone's equipment. Nope. Uh, so we're good, we've got armor, we've got a bandana, robe, uh, we've got medicine, gloves, boots. Uh, the others could use some stuff. Medicine. Uh, she could use some armor, maybe she's got medicine. Joey as well. Alright, so what we will do is we will head and see if we head down here and see if we can do some shopping. Now we haven't actually been in any random encounters just yet, but you can bet your ass we will. Come on in. Now let's see what they've got. Uh, so we've still only got our 450 potch, which isn't spectacular. Um, we could get some leggings for everyone. A leather hat for Joey. I do like the leather hat. Maybe that, actually. So let's get... Um, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've only got 250 potch, so we have to be sparing with this. So, actually, hang on. If you recall, we should have another pair of boots. Yes, we do. Okay, so now we can give this to someone. Who's going to take the boots? Uh, wooden shoes. Well, they've, they've got stuff. So we will have to relieve them of some stuff. Defense 1, defense 2. Yeah, okay, we'll exchange the boots for those things. And now... Now we can buy some stuff. Uh, so the late everyone's got stuff there. Who wants... That's for Joey. Lovely jubbly. Okay, and I'm not too, too fussed about this stuff here. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think that's good. Basically, we need to be, uh, we need to get into combat more than anything else to uh, start earning some money. So, okay, medicine, medicine. Uh, he could use some medicine. Me medicine, medicine. Everyone's got medicine. Yeah, everyone's got medicine. That is the really important thing. And, um, yeah, we, I, we, we don't really have the money to uh, sharpen anyone's runes. I don't know uh, where that monster came from. Believe me, you should stay away from that this place. Uh, oh, sorry, this is not the way to the, uh, to the shallow pass, is it? So where we want to be going is over this way. Actually, before anything else, let's uh, save. I'm just gonna save, we're not gonna spend the night. Oh wait, did I? God damn it, I stayed! Oh, for crying out loud. Well, there goes my money. Oh well. <laughs> there you go. Lesson learned, guys. Lesson is, pay attention. Don't stay when you intend to save. God, we are, we are actually broke now. We've got nothing. And we didn't even need to rest. So let, let's get out of here. Alright. Up we go. Up north. Up the mountain pass. And we have our first random encounter. So, these holly boys, they're not really um, anything at all. So, we'll, I'll show you guys the uh, auto attack. Yeah, there you go. Very quick. Very easy. Got 10 potch for that. And we are now on the North Sparrow Pass. Up ahead is the Highland Border. There's also a rumor that a mist monster lives in there. No one is permitted to enter the by order of the Mayor Annabelle of Muse. Please go back the way you came. We have to get back. I mean, I mean, we have to go to Highland. Sorry, we've got our orders. Come on, can't you just bend the rules this once? Sorry, I can't do that. Mm, they're being stubborn. Please. Nope, they're not budging, are they? Oh? What's Rena up to? Um, Mr. Captain, could we have a little talk? Huh? Come over here with me. Uh, okay. Uh, um, go. But you have to promise to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Joey's wondering what's going on. But of course. Rena, you didn't. If this nice captain says we can go... Then we should take him up on his kind offer. Yeah, so, uh... Rena, what did you do to him? Nothing. We just had an adult conversation, that's all. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I, I can imagine what, uh, what she did to him. She asked really nicely and batted her eyelashes. No doubt. Okay, new enemy. We have a wolf. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just all attack. Six of us, one of them. I mean, five of us, one of him. Yikes. But as you can see... He still hurts. So, it would actually be in our interests to gain a few levels here. Uh, who got hit? Bolgan got hit. He'll, he, he can attack another hit. We also have to kind of be a bit sparing with our healing items. Okay, fork. Uh, let's go left first. We've got a firewall. That is cool. Uh, so now who's going to get the firewall? The firewall uh, does 150 damage to one enemy row. That could be cool. 
Maybe give it to J uh, no, he's got the fire arrows. Hmm. I'll leave it for the time being. And what we have here is really useful, delicious water. It restores our HP and MP. So um, as I was saying, it uh, would really behoove us to uh, just run around a bit, get into a couple of random encounters, and use this uh, spring to just uh, heal everyone up. Okay, we got bees. So let's use a unite attack for Joey and Fred. Uh, we'll use the unite attack for the uh, circus family, for the Graysons. I'm going to call them the Graysons. Okay, that's pretty cool. Seems pretty overkill. Gravy. Okay, we got money for that, but because those guys are so weak, we didn't really didn't really get the uh, the experience for it. Okay, and another wolf. Okay, so what I'll do, I think, after this, guys, is um, because we're encountering a lot of the same enemies, I'm gonna edit out the uh, fights unless we get something new. Just it'll just save time for everyone, I think. Oh, hello. So this is a bonbon. Uh, yeah, let's attack the bonbons. Okay, that was uh, pretty decent. Alright, and we have some bandits. So, uh, yeah, let's get serious against these guys. Uh, unite attack. Oh, crumbs! Joey's down! Um, alright, that's not great. We should consider running. Yikes. Yeah, so uh, things can escalate pretty quickly. Okay, I think that's enough of that. So uh, I've just uh, gone... I've just gone and gotten our levels up to level 6. Just so we'll be a little less squidgy. I'm gonna go up here, get an escape talisman. That lets us escape from like dungeons and things. Okay, and then up this way. Uh, which path is it? Is the left? Uh, this way, I believe. Okay, these guys again. All right, let's uh, let's leave in us. I'm gonna crack at him now. Yeah, so you can see the difference a couple of levels makes. Here we get the brass armor. Now that is pretty good, and I think we will be equipping that straight away. Oh no! Oh no! No, it's here. There it is. So this is going to give uh, protection plus five. And yes, we will be using that straight away. Uh, let's see, do we want to heal anyone? We might heal Bolgan. Yeah. And then in terms of medicine, everyone's got medicine. So we're all good. Okay, and now this way to the left and up. Man, there are a fair few fights today. But on the plus side, the good thing about it all is experience. 
experience points and gold. I mean, potch. Okay, this is important. This here is a an in the field save point. And when we get it, it usually means that there is a boss up ahead. And in this case, there is a boss up ahead. So let's just save. Uh, we're doing fine there. Uh, let's just check our equipment. Uh, make sure we are good. Do we need to equip anything onto anyone? Uh, no, because he's got useful stuff, useful stuff, useful stuff. No, we've all kind of got useful stuff, so no there. The robe? No, no one else can equip the robe. Uh, creamy stew? That is fine. Firewall? Do we want to give firewall to someone? Now nah, we're quite good. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting a bad feeling. Fred, here it comes. Okie dokie. And here we have... Miss Shade. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we will start off. Um, we'll start off with the uh, Fred and Joey doing their buddy attack. That can be good. And with the uh, Flying Graysons, we'll have them use their circus attack to start off with. Now this guy, I believe, has. It's around 800 health. And I need to remember whether he, whether he can attack more than once. Yes, he can attack more than once. So we we're going to have to be mindful of that. Uh, let us carry on with this here. Um, Bolgan, because he's a bit dazed at the moment, all he can do is defend. Rena, let's... let's... hit him with some firewall. Hit him hard, I say. Um, and that is... Uh, do we... we just got the medicine, and I wanna... Should I heal Fred? No, no, we'll be fine. Let's attack. We're good. Believe. Gotta believe. Good. Okay, Fred's taking some serious damage there, so he needs to heal. Hello? Um, okay, 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 we're gonna heal, but then... Yeah, okay, so we'll heal with Fred. Fred will heal Fred. Joey can... Flaming Arrow? Go on, Joey Flaming Arrow, huh? And then the, uh, the Graysons can use their Unite attack and uh, an attack. Good stuff, and Joey. Oh, okay, is that it? And yeah, there we go. She, it, they go down. And for that we get some kindness drops. Yeah, so you can see, not too, too tough for the first boss in the game. That was scary. You were right, Rena. It's a good thing Fred and his friend were with us. It sure was. Fred and I couldn't have handled it alone either. I'm hungry. Ball gun. Haha, <laughs> let's get going. I think we're just about there. Yes, I think we are just about there. 
So um yeah, this is uh this is how a fight goes down in Suikoden 2. As you can see, it's quite interesting. Is there anything this way? Feathered hat. Uh, who would like a feathered hat? Fred would like a feathered hat. Yeah, since he took the most damage in that last fight, he, he gets a feathered hat. Oh, and then up here. Just a little further north, and we should see uh, Kiaro Town. Come on, Fred. So that's where we part company. Okay, and back on the world map. And here we are. Okay, uh, another quick thing. Before you actually go into uh, Kiaro Town, make sure you unequip all of the items from the uh, from the Flying Graysons. So uh, let's make sure we do that now. And from Rena as well. Oh, no. Okay, as you see, we can't remove absolutely everything, but, um, you know, just the main stuff. And into town we go. We finally made it back, Fred. Wow, so this is your town. It's really nice. This is where we say goodbye. It was fun traveling with you. So, where do you live? Maybe we could drop by next time we're in town. Well, my house is to the north, where the road ends, and Fred's house is off to the west. Just take a left at that path. Okay, thanks. See you later. Take care of yourselves. That must be like the most coherent thing he said. Besides, I'm hungry. Fred, that leader of the mercenaries has got me worried. I'm going straight home. Nanami's probably waiting, so you should go home too. But be careful, okay? I'll see you later. Yeah, so this is the thing about these games. Labyrinthine plots. We have to kind of be, be a bit mindful, because our own commander basically sold us out. Um, so let's just have a little word around town. I'm going to volunteer too. We can't just sit here and let them do, let them do that to us. So they think that um, the peace agreement was a trap. The state is a bunch of creeps, all of them. They think that the state broke the peace agreement. I'm sorry, everyone's just so mad. You, you're Fred, aren't you? What are you doing? Hurry up and run away. Ooh. Uh, what, what are you doing here? You should take the Nami and run far from a war, far away. Uh, we will... Let's just save quickly. Uh, okay, let's have a look upstairs. You don't hurry, this place will be trouble too. You should run away. There's nothing here for you anyway. So everyone's kind of telling us that we should be uh, running away. Maybe we should be. Uh, hello, sir. I travel around and collect old stories from people I meet. I heard that a hero once lived in this town, but nobody will tell me any more about it than that. Hmm, maybe a hero did. Maybe a hero did. Let's see. So up that way is towards our place. Let's check here. Nope, nothing. 
Uh, yeah, what can I do for you? Huh? You're Genkaku's boy. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, ma'am. Uh, so it doesn't really look like there's anything we can do. I mean, it's uh, it's interesting seeing all these houses and everything. But uh, I believe the game does want us to go to our house first. Mm, I would like to quickly find... Where's the armory? Uh, hello. Big brother, is that you? Huh? It's not. Oh, it, you Fred? Fred, listen to this, about my eyes. When my big brother gets rich, he said he'll take me to a famous doctor in the Turin Republic and have my eyes fixed. Oh boy, I can't wait. I want to see what you look like, Fred. I bet you look cool. Aww. I like that. Like, what he really, really wants to see is whether or not we look cool. I hope he gets his eyes. I do hope he gets his eyes. Anyhow, um, I think we should um, slowly make our way home. Uh, looks like war again. Everyone is screaming for blood. I can't forgive that city-state did either, but war is hell. Yeah, you've all been tricked. You! You're Fred! How dare you show your face here! You won't get away with this! Uh, hello? What was that? What can- Fred, what are you doing here? You should take the Nami and run away, run far away. Oh man, have we been branded traitors? That is not ideal. Yeah, that is certainly not ideal. Anyhow, um, well, I think we're going to take a quick break here, guys. When we get back, we're going to be seeing why... Uh, yeah, why we've been branded traitors, what we can do about it, and we will probably have to consider taking Nanami and getting the hell out of here. Anyhow, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.